the Apollo 12 mission brings back something totally unexpected. Had they just discovered life on the moon? Is this organism terrestrial or extraterrestrial? Apollo 12 astronauts return to Earth, carrying an unexpected payload. There is something alive on those cameras. Scientists and astronauts struggle to explain the mystery. At the time, it was thought that space was an instantly lethal environment. Had they just discovered life on the moon? November the 19th, 1969. Apollo 12 becomes the second manned spacecraft to approach the lunar surface. I got some kind of a horizon out there. I got some craters too, but I don't know where I am yet. I thought, where are we going to land? There's no room to land. And then we waited for these probes to illuminate, which were about five feet below the landing pad. I said, contact light. Contact light. Roger, copy contact. And then Pete touched down, and I thought, wow, this is the moon. We're really here. Apollo 12 was the second manned lunar landing mission, and one of the goals of this mission was to recover hardware from the Surveyor 3 probe that had landed two years earlier and see just what the lunar environment did to something that was exposed to the surface for that long. The two astronauts, Alan Bean and Pete Conrad, conduct a thorough inspection of Surveyor 3. They had been in space longer than any other space hardware. The thing they wanted the most was the television camera, because the television camera had metals in it, it had a lot of different materials, and they could then look at the effect of radiation, temperature change, and all this. This is important stuff, because if you're ever going to build a, a base on the moon, you know, some sort of colonization effort, you need to know, is dust going to get into everything? Uh, what about the fact that there's no air on the outside? What about the extremes of temperature? So it's, uh, of course, important to know how your own equipment is performed. Ten days after leaving Earth, the astronauts returned carrying with them the equipment recovered from Surveyor 3. When scientists examine the camera, what they find is disturbing. Investigators took a look at this camera and sampled it for microbial growth. And surprisingly, got growth from one of 33 locations that they sampled. They find something alive on a camera that's been on the surface of the moon for more than two years. The thought at the time is that the space environment was the extreme possibility for life, that there was nothing that could survive in space. Exposed to space, everything would die. Space as we know it is inhospitable. There's no water, solar radiation flare, shouldn't see anything, but it's there. So the question that remains now is, is this organism terrestrial or extraterrestrial? The organism resembles a well-known life form found on Earth. The organism that was found was a streptococcus type organism, which is similar to organisms you've got all over your body, and that when you're not feeling well, they'll take the opportunity to cause disease. But the scientists that found the organism know of no form of Earth life capable of surviving in the hostile environment of space. The obvious question is, well, how did it get here? Where did it come from? One explanation for what happened here is that, in fact, these bacteria were just the result of contamination that occurred when this instrument was brought back to Earth. A NASA scientist who worked on the Surveyor program claims to have identified an incident which could have contaminated the sample. The videos of this sampling, looking at those, I saw an impossible situation in terms of limiting contamination. Not only did the investigators pick up sampling equipment, hold it against their bare arms, and put it back again. One investigator actually breathed on the camera area that they were going to sample. But both current and former NASA scientists reject the contamination hypothesis. I believe that is absolutely and completely, totally incorrect. Tremendous care was taken with this camera because nobody knew what it contained. They had made tremendous plans to do a detailed study of the camera as it was disassembled and to look at every part to see if there was any possibility that any kind of microorganisms might be present. 
The presence of only one kind of organism makes contamination after Apollo 12's return seem unlikely. They only found Streptococcus Midas. Now, if they had contaminated that camera while they were working, you cannot sneeze and produce only Streptococcus Midas. You're going to have all sorts of different microorganisms. There are about 750 million bacteria and every tiny drop of spittle. It is really not a plausible explanation that the contamination came in after it had been brought back to Earth. If the life form on the camera is terrestrial and not the result of contamination, the only possible conclusion is that it must have somehow traveled to the moon. Someone who was assembling the camera may have sneezed or coughed and got Earth human microorganisms into the camera lens area, and then it went to the moon. Now, why would they just find one microorganism on the moon? Well, the answer is very simple. Most of them died. But this little hardy beggar called Streptococcus Midas decided that it didn't want to die, and so it just sat there and stayed there on the surface of the moon for two and a half years before the Apollo 12 astronauts came and got it. Scientists theorize that to survive the hazards of the lunar surface, the organism must have entered some kind of suspended animation. When they tried to get these bacteria to grow again, they were kind of reluctant. It took a long time for them to get back up to speed. If a microorganism is on the moon and has gone into a deeply dormant state to survive the vacuum, the cold, and the low-level radiation, then when it finds itself back on Earth in good conditions, it's going to take it longer to wake up and longer to get back into full metabolic action. If the life form discovered on Surveyor really is something from Earth that has survived in space, the implications are staggering. The possibility that microorganisms could remain alive on the surface of the moon for two and a half years is tremendously important to science because that means basically that microorganisms could conceivably be transported in space from one body to another. So our idea of how life spreads has to be reoriented based on this. Life is not confined to planets. A NASA probe in the far reaches of the solar system encounters unidentified light sources on a rock tumbling through space. There are lights shining from what is supposed to be a dead rock. No human craft has ever reached here, and yet there are structures which defy explanation. This looks like a pyramid. 